Hey guys, this is Raymond Beckham from Art Computer. Wanted to give you a uh, quick tutorial on how to further create your invoice with Excel through some formatting techniques. So we have our basic invoice we've created, but um, we want to give it a little uh, panaz or uh, whatnot. So we're going to change some formatting here. We're going to change the text right up the top. It should have your font and your font size. We're going to click on the font, we're going to change it to 24, we're going to change the font uh, type to very little rounded, and you can change it to whatever you like, but this is how you do it. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and give, uh, give ourselves a background color on this. It's the paint bucket up here. If you click on the paint bucket itself, it has a predetermined color there, yellow. If you click on the arrow, you can choose your color. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to make it a light gray. And then for these items here, we're going to just make them uh, probably a slightly darker gray slash tan on every other one to make it a little easier to see. And we'll make this bottom part gray as well. Um, next, we're just going to make this whole thing a little bit bigger. We're going to make it maybe 14. And that is some quick techniques. One other thing you can do is add some uh, cell borders right up here. And we're just going to go ahead and use, uh, let's see, there's, there's a couple options here. Um, we're actually going to go into more borders here and we're going to draw our own borders. So you could either click here on where the line should be to make it go up, or you can click these little buttons here. Um, and we're going to just, in, we're actually going to enable all the borders on that part. And for the whole thing, we're going to go ahead and do just outside borders. So there we are. We have a quick little invoice, and when we change the quantities, it will automatically change. One thing you'll notice here is that this all went to hash marks after we changed that. That's because there wasn't enough room in the cell to actually show the entire amount. So the best way to change the size of a cell here um, is actually put your cursor right between the uh, cell letters and double click. and It'll automatically size it to what it needs to be. You can also click and drag, but a little less efficient. Alright guys, have a good night.